All right, Jane, explain to me why I should come see this show. Well, if you are ready to just sit back and let someone else's chaos take over for a couple of hours, you can certainly forget about your own problems. I've never heard anything so ridiculous in my life. Well, no, it all seems quite logical to me. Are you serious? Oh, of course not. I've never heard such a load of malarkey in my life. Jane sure has a lot of explaining to do. Mm -hmm. The St. Luke's players are back. You, Lots of I... explaining. Cannot agree more. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Serving up Sandage with a script and show to hopefully get you giggling. You might have been able to fool him, but you're not fooling me. Uh, I'm not? No, you're not. Barely Airs is the name of this farce-style contemporary comedic drama. On stage throughout the rest of May, right here at the St. Luke's Parish Hall Auditorium, Cedar Hill Crossroad. What is a farce comedy? A fast comedy is very fast moving. It's really identified probably better as real people in unbelievable situations. There seems to be a, a lot of doors in the set, people coming in and out. Is that part of the appeal of the show? It is for sure. There's lots of uh, close calls and fast timing and yeah, mistaken identities. And I think one of the keys too to farce in general is just to have that action happening um, without really showing that you're thinking about it. It takes a lot of skill to do that. So because um, you don't want to give the audience time to, to stop and think about why this is actually happening because it is right. so ludicrous. It's Nurse Judy again. Well, welcome back, Nurse Judy. The story that takes place in one location with a cast of seven quirky characters unfolds around a woman and her quest to receive a pending inheritance of one million dollars. What would you do with a million dollars? I'd buy me a treehouse. Would you put bacon in it? <laughs> and ketchup. Oh, ketchup. She has to be married for a year. And she's not actually married, so she has a pretend husband which happens to be her best friend's husband. And is one of your husbands gay? I think one of your husbands is gay. No! What about your gay husband, Tom, who is leaving you for your gay ex-husband, Tom? No! What about your lover boy, who you told me was Tom's brother? No! And this show is based on an American story? Yes, indeed. It's quite a recent one, uh, 2010, and it was first done in all the places in North Dakota. Where is he? That peeping Tom. You can catch this upbeat St. Luke's Players production for yourself on stage from May 20th until May 31st. Tickets and times on their website, stlukesplayers.org. All right, you can get tickets at the door uh, for each of the performances, but they can also be bought in advance at Russell Books, Ivy's Books, Pedals Plus, and Dig This. We hope to see you here.